When we talk about movie directors and screen geniuses, we all tend to bring up our own favorites. For good reason. There are legends for each and every single genre of cinema there is. However, most people can agree that there is one in particular who didn't just stand out in making different types of movies, but also turned each and every single one of them into a cult classic, or at the very least, a major success. Stanley Kubrick was a genius, an absolute master in visual arts and photography. But also quite a complicated man. You see, Kubrick was an absolute perfectionist. Nothing could slip past him. No mistakes, no small details, not even a slight change in the way he envisioned his work. Because that's exactly what he did. He perfectly envisioned everything that was supposed to happen on screen, way before even the first prop was placed on the set. This, paired with a short temper, a tendency towards insensitivity, and an almost dictatorial approach towards his cast, led to a good amount of situations on set. A popular example of these situations took place during the filming of The Shining. Some of you who are familiar with the film probably know what I'm going to talk about now, but no, we'll get to that later on. What I am going to talk about for now is just what I mentioned before: perfectionism. Here's the thing: remember that scene in the movie where Jack is writing a whole book with a single phrase on every single page. How could you not? It's legendary. It's still referenced to till this day. However, you also remember that giant stack of papers sitting on Torin's desk, don't you? A whole stack full of nothing but the same phrase, time and time again. Or at least that's what the movie tries to imply to us. Well, guess what? It wasn't just the movie. That stack of papers was real. What do I mean by real? I mean, not a single piece of paper on that stack was blank. Every single page on it, down to the last one, had the iconic phrase on it, from top to bottom, time and time again. Kubrick ordered someone from the props crew to grab a typewriter machine and make Jackson's same manuscript real from start to finish. Why, you ask? Well, they ask him the same. They ask him why not just write the pages that would actually show up on screen and leave the rest blank, since obviously they serve no purpose at all other than just being a prop sitting on the table. Kubrick simply replied. It would take realism away from the scene. On another occasion, and also during the filming of The Shining, a member of the crew thought it would be a good idea to bring over a chessboard and use it to entertain himself between takes with other crew members. Boy, did he thought wrong. Kubrick saw it. And after letting the man know that he was a major lover of the game, he kind of forced the poor man to play with him for the rest of the day. This little punishment, or God knows what it was, halted filming for a whole day, leaving cast members, filming crew, and every single personnel in the studio with nothing to do for the rest of the evening. All the work that was done in the morning, including technical setups, preparations, lighting, and makeup, among other things, was basically pointless and got lost. In a nutshell, Kubrick's chess game with the poor man ended up delaying the whole project for an entire day. Changing movies for a moment, during the filming of Full Metal Jacket, Kubrick hired a quite proficient lighting expert who also found himself in quite of a strange situation. After setting up the illumination exactly how the obsessive director wanted it to be. 
Kubrick simply stated that his job on set was done, and that he wasn't needed around anymore. Everything pretty normal till there, until Kubrick decided to give the man his personal home address, and told him to go fix a problem with the lights there, sending the man, an expert in cinema lighting, away from the studio to do the job of an electrician at his own house. Stanley Kubrick didn't care at all who or how important you were. It didn't matter if you were just a part-time assistant or a major celebrity and a superstar. If Kubrick felt like being an asshole towards you, then you bet he would be. Stephen King already mentioned in several interviews that he's got a serious problem with Kubrick's interpretation of his own book, pointing out that the film director shamelessly changed entire parts of the plot so he could fit the story to his own vision. He has also accused the movie of being cold and the character of Wendy being extremely misogynistic, among other things. And talking about Wendy's character, you remember what I said at the star? Oh yeah, we're talking about that now. Shitty the Ball was an iconic actress during the 70s and 80s. Mostly referenced for her role as Wendy, Jack Torrance's wife in The Shining. Perhaps one of the most bizarre episodes surrounding the director took place between him and Duvall. Kubrick believed that the only way he could get a perfect performance from Shelley as Wendy was if he put her under constant stress and harsh criticism almost making her actually fear him, the same way she would fear Nicholson's character in the movie. Kind of ironic. Among the things he did to her, one of the most famous ones was when he forced her to repeat a single take over 120 times, until the scene was exactly how he envisioned it in his own head. Shirley the Ball, meanwhile, has affirmed in many occasions that it was not only her worst professional experience, but also one of the darkest in her life, making her suffer from constant anxiety even after the movie was finished, stating once that she even considered quitting as an actress altogether. These are only a few of the many stories surrounding the legendary filmmaker but it would take an entire video just to discuss them all. And we have gone on for quite a while now, so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Stanley Kubrick. <laughs>